What's up all you clashers out there? This is Galaxis and thank you guys for tuning in for another video. What we're doing today is we're going to start working on Expert Dungeon 5. Okay, and we're going to try and work all the way through the Expert Dungeons and see if we can get to Insane Dungeons. We're working on my account, Galaxis Bliss. This is my second strongest account. Uh, this account has almost made it to King. I got six hero bases on this account. So, you know, definitely in a position to make it through Expert Dungeons. And we're just going to pick it up, the Expert Dungeon series here on my account, Galaxis Blitz. So you can see I'm in the warehouse, just cleaning up some of this stuff. And I've been saving a lot of awesome stuff we can open up. I'm going to start out with this Crest Box and see what we get out of here. Cool. So we got a level 2 Tenacity Crest set. That's worth four regular Tenacities, uh, Tenacity Crest. So it's pretty awesome. And there you go. Got a level 2 Bulwark Crest set. Pretty cool. Got a heavy blow, level two heavy blow out of that. Open up these mythic crests. Cool, cool. Oh, we almost got a whole set of bulwark, I mean, uh, berserk crest there. We got that life drain, got a revive, but a whole bunch of berserk crests out of that one. Let's see, we got, uh, I don't think we, we don't have enough space. So we're going to have to open up this. We got seven spaces in there, so we're going to have to open up a few of these and then we can open the rest of those in bulk. Get a chance to see if we can get something awesome. Picking up some pretty decent stuff here. All right, so we got a whole bunch of Bulwark Crest set. Um, and then we got War God Crest there. And then a couple of Self Destructs. I usually take the Self Destructs and Forge with those. Okay, because uh, I don't know. I don't really see a lot of use. And then we got a Paladin out of that, man. I'm always waiting to see an Ares or a Vlad Dracula pop out one of those. You know, I don't know if you can actually get those out of there, but the legendary hero card, I know that people have been saying that, yeah, you can get Ares out of that. You know, I had a friend that got a Vlad Dracula out of one, so, you know, I'm staying positive, staying hopeful. But here's my Phantom King. Got a pretty awesome Phantom King, but uh, he's not really leveled up, so we're not going to use him in this series. Well, at least right now. So we'll go ahead and we'll put our uh, Death Knight in there instead because he's definitely leveled up. And I'm going to go out and do a little bit of raiding just so I can get some gold. Make sure that we have resources in order to, uh, you know, be able to buy magic and stuff for going in the dungeons. So just looking for somebody with a good amount of gold. It's not going to be too difficult to just wipe out real quick. This will probably work pretty good. Santa Boom on this account is awesome. It has a 7 of 8 bulwark on Santa Boom. Um, you know, the account is pretty stacked up. Got a level 5 revite for the Valentina. Got a level 3 revite on the, the Warlock. You know, so there's a lot going on here. Got a, a 4 Berserk on the Pumpkin Duke. You know, definitely stacked up, man. I think it, we're not going to have too much of a problem making it through Expert Dungeons. But, uh, you know, I haven't, haven't beaten the Expert Dungeons yet on this account. So, sort of been saving that up so we can get a chance to get in there. And I'm pretty confident that we can make it through. So we will see. Time will tell. But uh, you see what I'm doing here is just landing over on the sides, wiping this stuff out real quick, getting enough gold. Might even get out, get out of there and just take off before I lose anybody. So I don't want to try and jam anybody back. It looks like we're Yeah, yeah, I don't wanna don't wanna lose anybody. So I think we have plenty enough gold to go ahead and uh, buy you know the magic that we need and everything, so just real quick, I want to use up some of this mana. And that's what you do if you want to bring up your might. You just keep on feeding mana to these guys. You got to make sure to get everybody's level up and just keep on feeding them mana. Give them some, you know, a couple books to bring them up. Man, got an execution. I was hoping for something awesome there, but, you know, we'll take the executioner. Go ahead and feed him to somebody. So the magic that we're going to be using here, we're going to use Frenzy. Guardian, Restoration, and we'll use the Snowstorm. We'll just keep those on stash, just in case we need them. But here we are on Expert Dungeon. You can see that I've already worked on some of them. I haven't even finished all of Expert Dungeon 5 on this account. So we're going to go ahead and just start back at the beginning of Expert Dungeon 5. And uh, just talk about where to land and give you guys an idea of good places to land. So, you know, me personally, what I choose to do is land. Uh, if there's a space to land on the inside of the wall, I usually try and take that. But if not, 
you know you just got to make a choice I think over here on this corner probably be a good place to land gonna start getting targeted by all these towers and stuff like that and you know guys are gonna come out there but not too much of a problem running through there and I don't even think I'm gonna end up having to use the snowstorm or anything because guys are doing too bad Punkin Duke is taking a little bit of aggro but looks like he's gonna hold his own so yeah landing on the outside over there in that corner is probably going to be a best now you could you could probably choose one of the other spots around the outside but you're going to want to try and get it uh, somewhere where some towers are going to be able to aggro uh, you know target your your punk and duke so that you can get him his proc building up that's typically how I like to do it so on to expert dungeon 2 didn't have a problem at all on one now this is split the base is split a little bit, so it's a little bit difficult, but down here at the beginning, uh, you can see that there's a spot right there you can land, so just go ahead and drop your guys in there. Get those guys in there, and then uh, you see they'll start wiping that out pretty quick. Now, they're going to probably split up, so you just got to watch what's going on, and uh, hopefully everything goes okay there, but yeah, you see... Got some guys split up and go over there. You got some guys that came down here. But uh, not having too much of a problem. Pumpkin is up there. So I'll drop that snowstorm in there. Figure that that'll slow down everything a little bit. And looks like we're going to be doing okay. Pumpkin is still taking a lot of aggro up there. So a little bit dangerous. And it looks like he has a sliver of life left. But, uh, yeah, we got out of there without having to gem back our pumpkin dude. Awesome. Okay, so we're on to number three. Let's go ahead and grab some magic real quick. And then we'll go on to three. So we're just knocking these out. Piece of cake. Not too much of a problem. Have it run into too many issues right here. Uh, and you know in these lower expert dungeon 5 you're not seeing a lot of legendary heroes so you know that's making it a lot easier so I figure you go ahead and land out here on the side you see there is a uh, little spot in between those two walls on this side over here go ahead and land there and that'll give you a chance to make it through without having to try and break through the walls and everything give you a chance to start cleaning everything up pretty quick so just watch your guys and give somebody restoration if anybody's needing restoration. A lot of bombs in there and stuff, so it's a little bit dangerous. There's never, uh, you know, any way of telling which way your guys are going to really go. But do what you can there. So we've got some restoration going for those guys. And it doesn't look like we're going to have too much of a problem knocking this one out. Didn't lose anybody. So that's always good. Didn't have to use a snowstorm. So we got three flames with three flame in these, no problem. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of our magic. Make sure we got all the magic that we need. And let's go in, we're doing five, four now. So not having a problem knocking these out at all. Now this is one of the ones I was telling you about. You wanna make sure that you drop inside of the wall. It's just gonna cut a lot of time out of it and uh, you know make it a lot easier. Now I would say drop on probably the top. You could drop bottom or the top. But I dropped my guys in right up here on the top so they could take the griffins out. And uh, make sure that you don't have to worry about them. Let's go ahead and drop everybody in. Keep your restoration handy. Ready to put that down off on anybody. Most likely Pumpkin Duke because he'll be running out. Let's go ahead and drop that on him real quick. And it doesn't look like we're going to need to use our snowstorm. So this is pretty good. Just knocking him out. Snowstorm is pretty expensive. So you don't want to have to use that if you don't have to but uh, there we go didn't have a problem knocking that out so we got three flames on this one as long as they hurry up and get these towers out of the way so we got three flames on uh, five four and we are on the five five and we got the 31 shards so pretty cool on that go ahead and grab our magic real quick and we'll get back in so we are on five five now knocking these out not having a problem at all 
and uh, this account is pretty leveled up you know pretty close to evolution and I've really been working a lot on this account to just make sure that it's staying up there keeping it strong it's almost a king so really happy about that but uh, with this one I would say go ahead and land on the outside um, so probably over here on this side would be the best go ahead and drop your magic in there get your punk and duke down let him take all the aggro and you know Santa boom for me is really gonna do a lot of the work because he has a seven of eight bulwark so he can just really destroy a lot of stuff and see he's just taking stuff out really quick and we also have uh, you know the warlock in there that's taking care of a lot of the work also so uh, not having a much of a problem Restoration down there just to make sure our guys are protected. Make sure that guy is protected. Punky Duke always wants to run out and get in trouble, so you gotta make sure you keep the restoration ready for him. But uh, there you go, guys. Three flamed it, didn't have much of a problem at all. So we got Expert Junction 5, 1 through 5 taken care of, and um, you know, that's going to be where we're going to leave it at this uh, in this video going to jump back in and uh, we'll be getting back in but let's just do a real quick review um, I got my you know five or I think that's four or five enlightened on the um, Atlanta core there so I'm not really using that Atlanta core that's not my main Atlanta core just using them I'm going to take the books this is going to be my main Atlanta core I got a five of eight revive which is an awesome talent to have on an Atlanta core. I got my three of five revitalized on my Cupid. Got him at eight of 10, level 80 inscription with the two Berserk Crest set. Got my Santa Boom with a seven of eight, Bulwark and eight of 10 on him. And he's 82 inscription with level two Revive Crest set. Got my Punk and Duke here with a four of eight Berserk. Got him at eight of 10. And uh, 82 inscription with a level two Revive Crest set. Pretty awesome. Four of eight scatter on my um, Druid. And Druid has a level three slowdown crest set. Level 80 inscription on him. Uh, four of eight berserk on my Death Knight. Seven of 10, still working on that. And he has a level two life drain set with 81 inscription. So you see, I'm working hard on my squad here. Got a three of five revitalized on my Warlock. Seven of 10 and uh, level one berserk crest set with the 81 inscription. And look at this, man. 5 of 5 Revite on my Valentina. She's a 7 of 10. Pretty awesome. Removing, uh, you know, silence and, and restoring energy uh, for all the people around her. So that's awesome. And I'm working on a level 2 Revive Crest set for her. It's my Phantom King. Still working on his skill. When I got him, I used pretty much all the resources. But he has a 4 of 8 slowdown. And, uh, you know, go ahead and probably top that off real quick and bring him up to five just real quick because I know I'm really close to doing that so let's go ahead and do that real quick and at least get him to five it's been working on him slowly but surely bringing him up so he can be effective let's go ahead and give that to him so now he is at five and that's a hundred twenty percent attack and he's reducing energy by twenty seven percent so it's pretty awesome. Got him at level 80 with a one life drain crest set. And my Grizzly Reaper, six of eight scatter on him. Got a sprint crest set on him. The Orcs Bane with a four of eight stone skin. And I do have him at seven of 10 with a Berserk crest set and 81 was his inscription level. So got my Thunder God, level two bulwark on him. Got a five of eight stone skin on my Mortep. You know, squad is pretty set up, man. I do need a few guys that I'm going to continue to work on. This is pretty awesome. A 5 of 8 Scorch on this Siren. Wait until I get that all the way leveled up. That's going to be fun to play with. So we didn't have much of a problem beating these Expert Dungeons. We're going to start working on Expert Dungeon 5, 6 through 10 on the next video. So come back and check that out. Leave me a comment if there's anything you guys want to see. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and just keep on clashing. Until next time, Galaxis out. out.